What an impressive winner of the first juvenile race in the Cape this season is one of the fillies in the race, number five, Captain's Flow. She's a daughter of Captain of All, and she was trained by Pete Buerta, written today by Donovan Dillon. Donovan, well done. Thanks, Mr. Lee. It always looked between you and the favourites, and uh, not much in it going into the last furlong. Yeah, you know what, Mr. Lee, uh, when I took her down to the start, she actually gave me quite a nice feel. Um, look, when she came out the pins, she, she almost knew what to do. Um, without knowing what to do, if you know what I mean. Um, she sat behind nicely, and uh, when I asked her to quicken, she quickened smartly, and uh, she put the race to bed. She doesn't look like a typical early juvenile, frankly. She's got a bit of scope. Does she give you that feeling as well? Yeah, without a doubt. Um, I spoke to Pete. I said she, she's got a lot of scope about her, and uh, she's going to end up wanting to the, the further ground as well uh, later on, but, I mean, she, she's just got so much natural speed at the moment, and... Uh, no, she's just, just quite a nice filly. Nice way to kick off the day. Well done. Thanks, Mr. Ely. Just obviously a big thanks to Pete um, for putting me on it today. Um, uh, I could stick with her on Met Day. That's what he says. <laughs> uh, so let's hope so. But um, very big thanks to all the partners involved. Uh, lovely patrons to add for always. And then, uh, yeah, so thanks to Rob, my agent, for, for getting all these outside guides. Thank you. Great. Well said. Thanks. Pete Boita. Follows up his nice winner on uh, Wednesday, I think it was, with another one today. Pete, well done. Yeah, thanks very much, Miss Ellie. Now, you did have a, a pretty bullish comment about her. Lovely filly, quite forward. Miss Ellie, yeah. Uh, <coughs> um, you know, I didn't want to run in the first baby race. And um, I, ideally, actually, I didn't really want to win the first time out. You know, I wanted to just try and hold her back. But she's she's so forward, and she's been forward now for, for quite a while. That, and, and she's never come off the bit. I, I've never let her come off the bit at home. So I wasn't quite sure exactly how she's going to go, but I knew that she would run well. Whether she could win it or not, you know, you don't know the opposition at this stage. But, um, but she's a very, very nice filly. Um, my only concern, and, and, and that's why I, I, I asked Donovan, please, can he ride her? And please, he's got to just try and settle her from early on because I don't want her later on to be a, a tear away and because she's very forward. Uh, at home, she, you know, she, she grabs a bit and she goes. So she needed to learn from day one to just settle and maybe finish her races. And he rode a fantastic race. So now it's midday, is it? Uh, yeah, that'll be her next run. We are going to give her a little bit of a break after this and hopefully slow her down a little bit and wait for midday. Um, I just need to say some of the owners, unfortunately, couldn't make it here. Charles, uh, well done to all the owners, of, of course, but uh, a special mention to Charles. This is his first horse that he ever owned, and I'm really sorry that he couldn't make it today. Well said. Thank you very much. Okay, well, runners, yeah. Coming across. Okay, Ron, you've had a man, many, many winners over the year. I don't know whether you've ever won the first juvenile race, but this is nice. Um, not that I can remember, Stan, no, but uh, yes, this, this filly ran a crack race. She really ran well, and uh, big thanks to Pitt at the, and the, at the yard. He puts in a lot of hard work on me, and uh, he's reaping the rewards now. Also, Donovan rode a very, very good race. Really, he, he got... He did exactly what Pitt more or less wanted him to do, and it was a perfect run race. Special thanks to Jan Mantel, who bred the sauce, and uh, Michael's friend, and he's come all the way from Robertson, so he must have known something. <laughs> but uh, anyhow, and congratulations to all the owners uh, that are in partnership with me, and well done to them, and let's hope we get many more out of this filly. I'm sure you will, the way she looks. Michael, uh, we were chatting off air. And uh, we agreed that she's not a typical early juvenile. She's got a bit of scope. Um, yes, she has, Dan. Um, she has shown us a little bit um, prior to today. So you've got you to believe that, you know, that she's going to improve and improve and improve. And these baby races are always difficult because everybody likes their horses. You don't know what you're up against. And only the race will tell. But um, I think that I think she'll, she'll go places. It certainly looks that way. Now, this race was sponsored by Interbet. If you'll just come across... And present the champagne. We'll get back to Pitt, don't worry. Thank you very much. And the Mark van der Winter representing Interbet here today. Okay, thanks. Pitt's got something else to say? Sorry, uh, Mr. Lee. I just wanted to say well done to uh, Jan Mantel, very nice uh, filly that he bred. And um, I, I know when we spoke at the sales, we thought that she was going to go for a lot more money, and he could have quite easily have pushed me up for a lot more. So, you know, uh, well done to him, and thank you very much. Well said. Thank you. Okay, thanks uh, to Interbet for sponsoring that race, and that is the first juvenile scurry of the season, and a good feat of training, one feels, by Pete Buerta.